Hey guys, John here with Vapor Honing Technologies today, showing you a carburetor bank here off of a four cylinder Honda um, that has just been vapor honed. And uh, there are a couple things to point out. Look at the rubber, the plastic, uh, excuse me, there's no rubber on here. Uh, oh, actually, yep, there's a piece right here. You can't see it, but the rubber, the plastic, all of this stuff was left on the carburetor bank and we did not damage it. There's actually rubber right here um, where the fuel is, well, this is not fuel here, but the fuel is traveling in over here. There, there's rubber there. It's not damaging plastic, rubber, brass, copper, aluminum, steel. I mean, we're cleaning everything and it's not actually hurting anything on these carburetors. And I mean, you're looking at about five minutes per carb if you wanna do a really fantastic job on it. Uh, it's a little more difficult when you have them together like this. Um, obviously, if you can disassemble it as much as possible, it's going to speed up the process for you and you're going to get a really, really good result. But, I mean, you can see the two parts here. And look how exceptionally clean and smooth this bore is where the slide's going to go. I mean, everything works as planned. I mean, look how clean these things are. And actually shoot down the passageways, that's what I personally like to do. Um, that way I make sure I can break anything loose. Uh, and you can see all the way down through the hole there. I like to break and clean anything loose that could be trapped inside of these carburetors. Um, and then I like to show you how to clean these delicate parts up. And um, you know, I can show you right now just the easy way to do it and that is to put it into a dip tank and slosh the parts around it really helps remove any trapped media that could be anywhere in the part um, and you have no idea because some of these blind passageways and holes the media is all over the place but you can slosh the part around as you can see there and it really helps remove that media even after you rinse the part down in the cabinet you know after you're finished blasting when you rinse it in like a dip tank and slosh it around, it really helps remove a lot more media that way. And of course, you wanna get these parts dry. You wanna get them really dry so that there's no moisture. I mean, zero moisture left behind on the part. And I mean, these parts are exceptionally clean and dry. And that's the biggest key. I mean, obviously, if you have ferrous metals, you know, if you leave moisture on them, they're gonna rust. Um, even with rust inhibitors, a lot of times you have issues with that. That's why people with high humidity um, areas have issues with flash rusting, even using rust inhibitors sometimes. Um, but I mean, the, the speed and the result that you get using this process, it's incredible. And I mean, you don't have to worry about masking off any area on these parts, like the bore here where the, the slide's gonna go up and down. Obviously that has to be smooth. There has to be a certain tolerance that's held there. Um, all the sealing surfaces, those things are all safe with the process. And that's why I love it. And that's why you will love it if you ever get to use this um, or get set up with a piece of equipment because it is easy and it's repeatable. And there's seriously nothing hard about it. I mean, look at all the springs, all the mechanisms. This stuff is clean inside and out. I mean, you cannot do it any other way. <clears throat> Because you can see in the video, the flushing action that you get um, with the vapor honing process. And that's what really makes a difference with the process. I mean, you can imagine those tiny little particles hitting that surface at about 70 PSI and just running across the part really quickly, helping scrub away any contaminants um, that you might have. But I mean, you get to see the before and after pictures of these parts. And I mean, it's quite magnificent. Um, I challenge you guys to get set up with the process if you do not have a machine. Um, I think it's going to take your business to the next level or your hobby and it's going to make it easier for you. And of course, you're going to have more fun doing this kind of work. Um, that's what I love about it. It makes the cleanup job so much easier. And of course, you have a much better prepped part to get it back assembled correctly. And I think all of you guys know how detailed something like this can be. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, follow our, uh, go ahead and, and, and follow us on Instagram. 
like the Facebook page, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we have weekly and daily updates on new processes. Um, of course, new products are coming out every couple months, and I'm sure you guys will be happy to see some new content. So give us a call or email if you have questions. Um, that's what we're here for, and we're happy to help. Thanks for watching.